you. I have plays one, two, and three. If you open it up, you notice on the front, there's ten plays. These ten plays are essential to your success in this business. Each one of them is important in their own right, but the most important one that we believe in is the first one. What moves you? The reason why this is so important is this comes down to what is your why? Why are you in this business? Why are you doing this? Why did you decide to do it works? You've already seen the business plan, you've already made the decision, you've made the commitment, and now you're in. But what was it that got you in? You notice about, we got five things here, we got one down here. Well, in these top five, I want you to start dreaming again. I want you to think about what is it that you're going to do when you're successful in this business. But also, what is it that's going to keep you driving in this business? When you have a bad day, what is it that's going to make you get up and go out and do it again? So, first line, I'd say, think about $300. What would you do if you had an extra $300 a month? Would it be pay off a car, pay off student loans, pay off credit cards, hire somebody to come in, clean your house? Two and three, let's take it up a notch. $600. What do you think about when you think about $600? Half a house payment? whole house payment, taking care of some things that may have to take care of with a family member, different things that you can do that you normally wouldn't have done without the extra money. Well, we're talking about money. What about things that you could do without money? Now that you've got an extra $600, you may be able to donate your time more. What's in your heart that you can go out and do now that you have the extra money to do it? So we've got these ones right here. Number five, $1,000 a month. If you had an extra $1,000 a month, what would you do? I don't know. I'd probably buy a bigger car. I mean, the things you got to think about is we, we were taught as kids to dream and dream and dream and dream. I want to be president. I want to be a princess. You get older, you start getting told back to reality. This is going to allow you to dream again. So we want to make sure that we've got your dreams down so we know what's going to keep you going. So now, now we're down to the bottom one. Why it's separate? It's the big deal. Think about it. Today, just give everybody in this room a raise. $10,000. <coughs> Not $10,000 a year. $10,000 this month. So what'd you do? You may have paid off all of your credit cards. Yeah. All right. What happens next month? You're going to get another $10,000. Ooh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> and the month after that, another $10,000. <clears> well, now you're starting to get really excited. You can kind of feel it in your stomach. Like, oh, okay. This is real. I've got another $10,000. Oh, wait. I know I've got another $10,000 coming next month. What would you do then? Did you leave your job? Some people have a J-O-B. Some people have something that they're called to do. We're not asking you to leave your job. But guess what? Do you think you'd be able to go in much happier now that you've got an extra $10,000 sitting in the bank? Absolutely. Exactly. So that's what we have here. And the reason why we want you to write it down is because once you write it down, it's in stone. You've committed. You know what you're doing. Now, before when we showed the business presentation, you saw this circle. The circle is your dreams, the stuff that we talked about on the previous page. And then we know that basically the small circle is where your income is at. And when we were talking before, it was a matter of, okay, do you raise your income or do you shrink your dreams? And the majority of us over the last couple years have had to shrink our dreams down to our income. Well, you guys have made the conscious decision to take this circle and make it larger. But now where do we go from there? Well, you've got all these dreams on this. Let's say you've got a new house on here. Let's say you've got a new car. What do we do next? I encourage you to go out and look at that new car. Walk in, say, hey, I'd like to test drive this Mercedes. They may look at you a little funny. Can't say no. <laughs> take it around. Uh, 
Pam kind of makes me laugh all the time because she talks about licking the leather on the seat. <laughs> so go lick your leather. If it's not a car, if it's a house, go lick the front door. Make sure it's not winter. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, make sure it's not a metal door. If it's a metal door, yes, metal door, no. So this is, this is what I like to call dream building. You've already got your dream, but you need to build on it. You need to touch it. You need to make it something real. So if you have it on paper and you have it on a dream board, it's something that you look at every day, but you haven't committed it to your senses. Your senses are what actually commit it to you. So by touching, going, driving, now you can see it. Now you can feel it. Now you see yourself in there. And guess what? The next time you have a bad day, you're going to lay back and remember, oh, how awesome was it to drive that car? Oh, remember that house that had 17 rooms, 27 bathrooms? That's amazing. Those, those are the things that you're going to think about, and that's what's going to get you to keep going. So that's why it's very important to make sure that we have your dreams down, and not only having your dreams down, but actually enacting your dreams by going out and doing something with it. So that's step one. That's the first play, and that's about your dreams and your why.